Dear ladies and gentlemen, here we have a victory report from the New World. An eyewitness is telling us her story. A few months ago, I worked as a therapist in an old people's home of the German Red Cross. During that time, I was witnessing the worst kind of abuse, often resulting in death. I could hardly assimilate what I was confronted with daily, and when I talked about elderly people being raped repeatedly by employees or corpses of deceased left for two days in publicly accessible rooms with temperatures of about 25 degrees Celsius, then people would hardly believe me. I felt that I had to bring these problems to light, but every way of communication within the company was blocked. Being concerned about the welfare of my patients and their oftentimes scared relatives, I suddenly came under fire. A critic of the nursing procedures whom I met explains to me that the nursing home receives more subsidies for patients in higher care categories because the more affected elderly people need more support. Rehabilitation in the way of restoring to health was bad for the business and therefore not wanted. I realized the better I do my job, the more I will get into trouble. A short time later I was fired and threatened in spite of highly content patients. She goes on, After several government inspections, I managed to make my counter voice public. After that, many, many warriors of justice got in touch with me and thanked me for my sacrifice. But because the Red Cross tried to keep up their good reputation by playing down the situation and slandering me, no institution wanted to hire me anymore. Discouraged and insecure, I started to question myself, but that just drove me further into a holy fury. I girded myself with truth and spoke into the emptiness around me. Not the righteous, but the unrighteous shall fall, and the honor of the just will be revived by you, O God. Through new contact, I then obtained an email address of a senior manager of the German Red Cross. I sent them a letter and stated my experience, because I knew that this person would not want to risk her job for helping me either, I challenged her to follow my example of humanity against all the greed for money and referred to the Codex of the Red Cross Order. One week later, I received a letter from my fans to let me know that all the colleagues who were responsible for the wickedness or tried to damage me had been fired or sentenced and that the retirement home itself faced ruin. But God did better than that. I was offered a job in a leading position with a higher than average salary in a wonderful therapy center which treats my favorite subject and isn't far away from home. On top of that, I was invited to the Bavarian Parliament to meet with leading politicians. The best thing is that the people who could not believe in justice anymore have not been disappointed by the promise I gave them in the beginning. You will see, I said, if all your effort has been in vain so far, this will change now because justice is not being infringed any longer. Now the new world reigns.